Hello and welcome. I'm Helen Claire and this is another quick pre-run yoga sequence to get us warmed up but also to strengthen and to mobilize. So ideally grab a yoga mat and you might like to have two blocks nearby at the top of your mat or something of a similar size and we'll get started. Okay, we're gonna start on our hands and knees. So spread your fingers. Let's have wrists under shoulders, wrist creases parallel to the top edge of your mat. Knees under your hips. Then allow the belly to drop as you lift your tail, lift your chest. And then rounding, lifting the back, dropping your head, just relaxing it there. And taking a breath in as you lift the tailbone and the chest back through. And breathing out there as you arch the back up, drop the head and drop the tail. And let's take a few more, time it with your own breath. Feel the mobility in your own spine there. And how that mobility in your spine affects the movement in your shoulders and in your hips. Just the last two or three. As you exhale and arch, really draw the belly button in. And as you inhale, allow the belly to lengthen out. So exhale, draw the belly muscles in. And last one. And then come to neutral, tuck your toes, slide your hips back. Wrap your armpits inward so you're broadening the backs of your shoulders. Lift the knees, lift the hips. Okay, ease into the backs of your legs just a little bit so nice and gentle. Keep shifting the hips away from your hands. Okay, let's step the feet halfway up the mat. So about hip width, bring your hands onto your thighs, push your legs away, lift your chest, so long arms there, belly knees to draw into support, and a nice big breath in, reach up, and then come and stand tall. Okay, so feet, they can stay hip width, hands come to your hips, spread your toes as much as you can. And then let the toes drop back down, but keep them spreading if you can. Always good to practice. And let's bend the knees. See if you can keep the knees tracking forwards over your ankles, over your feet, just as much as you can or as much as feels good. Belly draws in gently. So we come up slightly and down slightly. So up a few inches, down a few inches. And to see as you move there how smoothly you can lift up and down, how aligned, tracking forwards, you can keep the knees. And just pause as you bend the knees there. Imagine you want to rip your mat in half with your feet, and you should feel the muscles here on the outside of your pelvis switch on. Keep that for a couple breaths. Uh, then come all the way up, reach your arms. <sighs> and then come to stand tall. Okay, so we're going to take a few runs, rounds of sun salutes. Come to the top of your mat. You might like to have some blocks handy. Feet hip width, stand tall. So relax the shoulders. To stand tall, we need to lengthen the tailbone just subtly to engage the deeper abdominals. Breathing in, let's reach up. And breathing out, you can soften your knees. Let's fold hands to the floor or the blocks. A breath in to look slightly ahead and we'll send the right foot back. 
Knee to the ground, hands to the hips. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank. Lengthen the tailbone, scoot forwards. Knees down, chest down. Release your toes, inhale, roll the shoulders back, head up last, keep your elbows bending. Exhale down. Push back up, down dog. So remember the aim here is to lengthen out the spine. Don't worry too much about the hamstrings just now. Lift the heels, right knee to chest and right foot to the top. Left knee to the floor. So take your time there, come up, hands to your hips. Draw the belly in as you reach the arms. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, step up to the top. Exhale, let's fold. Inhale, part way up, long spine, and then all the way up, back to the start. Okay, left side, breathing in, reach, get as long as you can, press your feet down. Exhale, we'll fold, soften the knees. A long breath in. And then send your left foot back. Knee down, hands to your hips. Gazing straight ahead, reaching the arms. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank. Get long here first, push the floor away as well. Drop the knees, keep the belly drawing in as you drop the chest. Then release your toes, then inhale, slowly peel up. Exhale down. All the way up with the hips, down dog. So I can instruct when to breathe in, when to breathe out, but breathe as much as you need to. Let's lift the heels, left knee to chest and left foot to the top. Back knee comes down, hands to your hips. Inhale, let's reach. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, step to the top. Exhale, let's fold. Inhale, halfway, all the way, back to the start. Standing tall, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Remember, you might be coming part way there with your blocks. Take a breath in, get long through your back, and then step your right toes back. Knee comes down, hands to your hips. Reach your arms. Now find a little bit of extra length through the tailbone, tipping the pelvis back. And finding that same tracking forwards of the knee that we had in those chair lifts at the start. And then hands to the floor. Now let's go back to a plank. And then your choice with the knees or without the knees all the way down. Inhale, roll up, cobra. Long neck, exhale down. Inhale up, downward facing dog. Lift the heels, right knee to chest. And right foot to the top. Give it a hand if you need to or just wriggle it up. Left knee down. Hands to your hips, so this helps to retract the shoulder blades first. Tip the pelvis back, then reach the arms. Exhale, hands come down. Let's step back up to the top, placing that foot where we want it. Breathe out, fold in. Breathe in, part way. All the way up. Straight to the second side. Exhale, let's fold. Inhale, lengthen the back. Send your left toes back. Back knee down, hands to the hips. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hands down. Plank. 
And again, your choice, knees or without, but push the floor away and see if you can keep pushing it as you lower down. <laughs> Inhale, Cobra. So really lift your heart. And exhale down. Push back up, downward facing dog. Nice long spine. And if you feel like your shoulders are really close over your wrists, bend your knees more to see if that helps to send your hips back. Lift your heels, left knee to chest, and left foot to the top. Back knee down, hands to your hips. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, the step to the top, and folding in. Halfway up. All the way up. And back to the start. Now stand as tall as you can. Keep the toes spreading, feet pressing down. And then find your tallest height, lengthen up through the crown of your head. Relax your shoulders. One hand to your belly, one hand to your chest. So breathe into your belly, then up into your chest. And slowly out. Feel the lungs filling from the bottoms to the tops. And just as slowly breathe out. You might like to close your eyes and just take a few more long breaths here. Again, visualizing each breath, an expansion of the lungs, the capacity that they hold. And how standing tall enables you to use that full capacity. your hands, loosen your arms, shoulders and legs. Well done, thank you. Go have a great run and again notice any difference you can tell. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon.